Hello, welcome back to Ericus's Welsh Garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is the first time in about 10 days that I've been able to get down to the allotment. So I'm so pleased um, to be here. When you're somebody that's able to get to the allotment every day, if you wish, having a 10 day break is actually quite hard, but um, I can report that everything seems to be okay at the allotment and it's been patiently waiting for me to be able to come back. Um, but today I'm also really excited because we are going to be getting this elephant garlic in the ground. The elephant garlic that I'm actually going to be um, planting out in the plot today was harvested in 2019. We had some to eat and then I gave a couple away to different people that wanted to grow it. And then I just totally forgot about them for an entire year. So um, the beginning of 2021, I was doing a bit of cleaning and I came across one um, of the elephant garlic bulbs on the top of the fridge, right at the back. and. Um, it had totally split up and it was sprouting like this and uh, I thought oh my goodness how amazing is that it's managed to survive um, so long out of the ground so what I did was I quickly um, got a couple of pots like this and chucked some of them in and as you can see um, they're, they're already kind of growing out of the bottom of the plot. So these are ready to get in the ground. Luckily um, I think I put these in in the pots outside and left them on the patio table at the beginning of January. So they've had all of the frost that we've had and including these ones as well, actually, these have just been left on the side. Um, and you can see they're all also raring to go. So it'd be really interesting to see how these do. Hopefully they will um, bulb up really nicely and split really nicely too, but who knows? So let's get them in the ground. So just in case you don't already know, with elephant garlic, it's actually related to the leek uh, more so than the garlic, and it's got a much more mild garlicky flavor. So it's perfect if you're somebody that doesn't like that really kind of strong garlicky taste, or you want to have it kind of raw in salads and things like that. We find that kind of roasting it in the oven and then adding it to your mashed potato or just leaving it to roast with your vegetables is a really, really nice way to enjoy it. Today I'm going to be planting them out in my um, one of my beds just down below. Now I actually grew them in this bed in 2019 but because I grow so many alliums all over my plot um, and it's not a huge plot it's quite hard to find somewhere that I haven't grown onions or, or, or garlic before um, but what I'm going to do is just make sure that I do spread them out far enough um, so they have lots of um, space to grow because with elephant garlic it is so much bigger. I think um, when I harvested these in 2019 some of them were kind of like you know almost like two fistful sizes so um, you just need to make sure that you do give them a really nice kind of even spacing and I think when I actually planted these in the ground it was quite late because um, I'd seen a few other people on YouTube growing them so if you are really keen to have a go this year there is still time if you get your elephant garlic um, bulbs as soon as you can. timing because as I was putting that last clove into the ground it started raining um, but I'm so pleased that I have got those in the ground today because as I said I think maybe it's been about 18 months since I harvested that garlic so it'd be really interesting to see how um, the harvest will turn out later in the year um, it could be I mean with with garlic if you plant it quite late in the season and it hasn't had that frost sometimes it only creates one big bulb rather than splitting into the cloves so because those um cloves there have been under so much stress um because they've been out of the ground for so long. It'll be interesting to see um, what they look like when it's harvest time. But if they only give me one big bulb each, that's not a problem at all because I'll harvest them and I will store them ready to plant next year. And then they should have a really good growing season, have lots of energy to grow really big and split into some nice cloves for me. Um, I think I'm going to leave the video here. I'm sorry it's not been... Um, 
a really interesting video today but if you want some more information about elephant garlic i've done quite a few videos before so i'll put those down below in um the description for you to have a look at and um as ever youtube has some videos up on the screen that they think you'll like so please go ahead and watch those and i'll catch up with you in the next episode bye